Introducing ASP.NET PayPal Control for Website Payment Standard. I'm Diana, and I'll be your tour guide. It is an ASP.NET server control when you are using in a web form project. It is also a component that can be used in ASP.NET MVC project. Using this control you can generate any kind of PayPal supported button. With each of these buttons, there is a button wizard. These are the details of a specific product of that button. You can set up what the user sees as they pay for the product. You can set the IPN settings, and you can set up the details for the payment return notification. You have a wide range of methods with each button you can use to make it work just exactly as you need it to. Then you can go and test it and see how a customer's experience will be. Hi Diana, this is James. Can you tell me how I can generate an encrypted button that is supported by PayPal's encrypted website payments? Sure. You can easily use the Design Time Smart Type Graphical User Interface Wizard to generate encrypted website payment buttons. You just need four credentials. PayPal Public Certificate File, your own PKCS-12 Certificate File, a password for your PKCS-12 certificate file and the certificate ID you received from PayPal when you uploaded your public PEM certificate to PayPal. I'm afraid I don't know how to get the certificates you mentioned. That's not a problem at all. This control also comes with a certificate generation wizard. Just click the button labeled Generate Your Certificates Now and you'll be taken to the certificate generation wizard. The outgoing variables will be encrypted using the certificates on the fly. Thank you, Diana. Now I'm wondering, how does this control handle instant payment notifications and payment data transfer? Hmm. Instant payment notifications and payment data transfers are considered as if those are server-side events of the PayPal control. By handling these events, you can capture the IPN and PDT variables from the event argument object. Thank you, Diana. This is wonderful. No problem. By handling the PayPal returned event, you can also capture the same set of data from the event argument object like IPN. In this event, you can write code to tell the customer that the payment was a success or that it was canceled. This control is not only good for the web form scenario. If you're using ASP.NET MVC, you'll get the same object-oriented facility in an even more transparent way. When you're using this control for ASP.NET MVC projects, you need to create an instance of the button class in your controller or view, and then you will need to set the properties and finally call the render for MVC method to emit the HTML output into the view. For any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at our official website www.spicelogic.com or email us at support at spicelogic.com.